Hello guys, I want to explain you about in-cab inspection for automatic trucks. First of all, you have to put your wheel chuck, driver's side, drive tire in the front and back of the drive tire. Not front tire, not the last one trailer tire. The middle one drive tire. If you have just one wheel chuck, you have to put in the back of the drive tire. After that, you have to come inside. Don't forget three point of contact. When you come inside, examiner is outside. Adjust your seat and mirrors. Put your seat belt. Everything is good. After that, turn key on and you need to show all the lights to examiner first in front of track after that back of the tractor and the last one back of the tra trailer with your hand when it's finished before then turn key off you can check your air pressure if it's more than 90 psi you have to pump your service brake like that to down yes right now air pressure is less than 90 psi after that 10 key off examiner come inside say okay my name is Ahmed and start your in-cab inspection the first thing you should say is I put my seat belt, my seat and mirror are adjusted. I will do my safety start. When we say I will do my safety start, I divide it to A, B. After that, start the engine. A is 10 key on, the ABS light, and if you have the flight, you have to say the flight came on and off. First came on, after that came off. If you have death gauge, you have to point and say the death tank has more than one eighth of tank. When your death gauge needle is out of red area, it means your death tank has more than one eighth of tank. The red area is one eighth. When we say that, after that, B, tractor protection valve pop out, trailer protection valve pop out, or apply and check neutral. When everything is perfect, start the engine. But before then start the engine, you have to last review air pressure because maybe you forgot to check your air pressure. If it's less than 90 psi, it's okay. If it's more than 90 psi, you have to pump your service brake. But we did before. Start the engine. When we start the engine, we have to say the air governor should cut out cut out between 120 and 140 psi watch your air pressure and listen for air governor the window a little should be down to listen easier don't forget not now as you can you have to hold a steer wheel with your both hands this is the watches 9 15 watch air pressure listen for air governor now it's so close Yes. Now we have to say result. 
the air governor cut out at 130 psi the track passed the test after that you don't need to talk it's so important we have to be ready for three important air check turn key off engine sound completely off don't move your hand again turn key back on not to start the engine just on and release tractor and trailer protection valve now i do my three important air check don't forget again last review number one you have to put your wheel check number two your key should be on not off not to start the engine number three your tractor and trailer protection valve should be released now i do my three important air check for all of them test name explain do it result number one test name l leak test explain the truck can lose no more than four psi in one minute do it first excuse me sir could i use from my phone bring your phone out go to clock go to a stopwatch and be ready for test you can use your watches or timer just don't forget you have to time one minute not less after that i push and hold my service brake after that i am waiting the needle to stabilize a little wait after that say now the needle stabilize my test begins now or now the needle stabilize my time starts now when we say the needle stabilize means the needle doesn't move anymore you have to look at here and the pressure when you see 57 58 59 60 result after one minute after one minute the air pressure didn't drop more than four psi in one minute the track passed the test release your foot first one finished second one test name low air warning test explain the low air warning light or buzzer should come on at or above 55 psi do it i will pump my service brake pump pump when you are close to 16 more slowly yes the low air warning light came on at 55 psi it's working properly the track passed the test i have to explain you three times we have to say low air warning low air warning low air warning one time for test name low air warning test second time for explain the low air warning light or buzzer should come on at or above 55 psi and the last one for the result when you pump and you see that you have to say the low air warning light if you listen buzzer to and buzzer came on at 55 psi it's working properly the track passed the test last one test name tractor and trailer protection valve test explain tractor and trailer protection valve should pop out approximately 40 psi minimum is you have to know that minimum is 25 psi i pump my service brake again do it right i pump my service brake again but be careful 
you have to recognize sometimes trailer protection valve pop out earlier okay. tractor and trailer protection valve popped out at 30 psi they are working properly the track passed the test if trailer protection valve pop out earlier stop pumping and say my trailer protection valve popped out at for example 30 psi i continue after that again pump when tractor protection valve pop out again for the second time stop pumping and say my tractor protection valve popped out at 25 psi they are working properly the track passed the test i have to add don't forget for all the results two two points are important number one you have to point with your finger number two you have to say at not roughly approximately about close to no just at and number when your three important air check finished is the best time for uncheck wheel after three important air chain tractor protection pop out trailer protection will pop out neutral and turn key off ask examiner excuse me sir could i go remove check after that come back again three point of contact put your seat belt anything is perfect i will do my second safety start we did before a b start the engine between first and second safety start there is no difference between them right now a after that b and after that start the engine a turn key on the abs light the flight came on when it's off again the abs light and the flight came off after that b tractor protection valve pop out trailer protection valve pop out and neutral after that start the engine when we start the engine while air pressure builds we start our in cab inspection it shouldn't be in order and if you forget something or something is wrong you won't fail first seat belt the belt is securely mounted not cut frayed and working properly seat belt is for your safety after that safety equipment i have three reflective triangles i have spare fuses my fire extinguisher is secure fully charged up to date the easiest way i organize like that one step by step one two three four one my city horn is working my air horn is working two my left turn signal is working my right turn signal is working my four-way flasher is working my high beam indicator is working four my oil gauge is normal the warning light is off my temperature gauge is normal the warning light is off after that we have three button here my voltmeter is charging and number four the viper is securely mounted not damaged working smoothly off my windshield washer is working off after that a little weight my heater is working change my defroster is working after that off the last one my windshield window glass and mirrors windshield window glass mirrors together securely mounted not damaged cracked chipped they are clean 
there are no secret or things that block my vision. The mirror are adjusted for me. After that, three important brake control tests, or I want to check my tractor brake, trailer brake, and service brake. Number one, first tractor brake. I divided to number one, number two, number three, number four, the easiest way. Number one, service brake, drive, or D. Number two, while you are doing explain to check my tractor brake, I release my trailer brake and leave tractor brake on. Number three, I try to move the truck forward a little bit gas, engine sub change or traction. Number four, neutral, pop out, release brake, explain. The truck didn't move, so my tractor brake is working properly. Now I want to check my trailer brake. Again, number one, service brake, D. Number two, to check my trailer brake, I release my tractor brake and leave trailer brake on. Number three, same. I try to move the truck forward. A little bit gas. Number four, neutral. Pop out, release brake and explain. The truck didn't move, so my trailer brake is working and the last one I want to check my service brake for the third time number one service brake D or drive number two while you are doing explain to check my service brake I release both tractor and trailer brake for number for tractor brake trailer brake number three is I try to move the truck forward, but for service brake, we have to say I move the truck forward 5 to 10 feet. Some schools say 10 to 10 to anything. Take your hands off a steering wheel. Look at mirrors. So slow. Two miles per hour. It should be maximum, right? You slowly go. When? five to ten feet finish after that number four neutral pop out release brake explain the truck didn't move left or right tractor trailer stopped in same time so my service brake is working properly in cab inspection finish i hope this video will be useful for you. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe.